Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're having an issue with an application error 0xE0434352 and that it occurred in the application at some designated location. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what we're going to do is open up a web browser, doesn't matter which one, but into Google you want to go search up Microsoft.net Framework Repair Tool and you want to search that up. Best match it should be from Microsoft Domain here and just like I said, Microsoft.net Framework Repair Tool, go ahead and just select that link. Select the download option. You want to select the Net Framework repair tool, so I'm just going to check mark that option and then select next. Only about a little over a megabyte in size, so that's not very big. Shouldn't take very long, regardless of your internet speed, to download that file. And once it's done downloading, just go ahead and lock one at one time to open it up. Select yes. You can minimize or close out of your web browser too. After you are done looking through the end user license terms of this utility, you want to go ahead and check mark where it says I have read and accept the license terms and select next. Select next and it will apply whatever changes it suggests. should list what changes are complete and then select finish. I would suggest restarting your computer as well at this time. So let's just go ahead and restart our device. Okay, so once that's done, I would suggest also opening up the start menu once again. Type in device manager. Best match to come back with device manager listed right above control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Expand the display adapter section. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. And whatever display adapter is listed under here, you want to right click on it and then select update driver. Select the search automatically for updated driver software. And then if it says the best drivers for your device are already installed, you can try searching for updated drivers on Windows Update as well, which should be done automatically, but that just gives you guys another option to work with. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.